Alright guys, so today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting um, theory I have on how um, the Grand Theft Auto universe is actually set in the Final Fantasy Freddy's universe. Yeah, this is a um, very serious video. It's, um, don't think, don't th take this as a troll because I actually truly believe this 1,000 million trillion percent. Uh, let's get straight into it. So in FNAF 2, you play as the character, the Night Guard, um, Jeremy Fitzgerald in 1987. All we know is that he stayed for six nights, then moved to the day shift for the final birthday, and may or may not have had his uh, frontal lobe bitten off um, in the bite of 87. And he may or may not be this other guy named Jeremy in Help Wanted around 2023 to 2038, who was a VR beta tester who went insane from the glitch trap virus and cut his face off with a paper slicer. And there's also some theories saying that he's um, the Bonnie Boy from 1983 who was um, friends with Michael Afton and them and their friends put Michael's younger brother into Fredbear's mouth causing the bite of 83. And there's also the possibility that he was Cassie's father who was a technician at the Mega Pizza Plex and possibly the person we play as in Help Wanted 2. I'm going to be talking about them later on in the video but I'm going to start with solely Jeremy Fitzgerald. Now in Grand Theft Auto 4 the Lost and Damn DLC from Episodes from Liberty City, best friend of the protagonist Johnny Klebitz, is a character named Jim Fitzgerald, and he's the treasurer of the Lost Motorcycle Club in 2008. What's going on, Jim? Hey, Johnny boy. You know the deal? If it ain't one load of bullshit, it's a goddamn another. Tell me about it. Now, what if I told you that Jeremy Fitzgerald and Jim Fitzgerald are actually the same guy? Now you're probably thinking, ha ha ha, this is a funny joke, <laughs> this is a funny video by funny man. No, 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 no. This is very serious. One billion percent, one trillion million thousand percent. What, what did you hear me say in the beginning? I'm, I'm telling the truth. I actually believe this. Now let's get into why I believe this. Now, during the events of 2008 GTA 4, Jim Fitzgerald, he's 45 years old. So that would make him, in 1987, 24 years old. So he definitely could have been around to actually take the job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in 1987. Also in 1987, Jim Fitzgerald was arrested for assault. Now you're probably thinking, oh it's just a coincidence that it so happens to be that in 1987, Jim Fitzgerald starts his criminal activities in the same year that Jeremy Fitzgerald gets involved in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now there's multiple ways to interpret how this incident relates to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Maybe um, he did get bit um, in the bite of 87. And maybe he did get his frontal lobe bitten by Mangle or Paper Powers or Endo 2 or Puppet or BB or Withered Free or Withered Cheek or Withered Body. I don't know who did it, but maybe he did get bit and then he went insane from it. So he started doing multiple crimes. Or Freddy's messed him up so much because he got so traumatized that he turned to the criminal life to get away and distract himself from those thoughts of Freddy Fazbear's. Or maybe he got the assault charges when he attacked William Afton because he wanted better pay. There's so many ways you can relate these incidents to each other, and I just don't think it's a coincidence. It's got to be real. I mean, how could it be the same in the same year? That's like one in a million. And there's also the possibility that he got into crime first and then went to Freddy's. Maybe he found it really hard to find um, a job because this incident was very well known in the community. And that's why he was forced to take a job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza because he couldn't get one anywhere else. And you know what this reminds me of? Mike Schmidt in the FNAF movie where he was forced to take the job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza due to his current circumstances. So I think he became a criminal before going to Freddy Fazbear's and not after. I think it's more likely. And this probably ties into one of the most notable problems that you probably um, recognised when I uh, first brought up this theory. And it's that if these two guys are the same character, then why did he change his first name? And it's very simple. Just like Michael Afton, he changed his name to Hyde. They both used fake names to go under the radar, which for Michael was to hide under Freddy Fazbear's nose or William's nose, and for Jim slash Jeremy, from the police. However, unfortunately for him, Jim was already registered as a criminal. So his face was already in the police's database. And do you know what was connected to the police criminal database? The animatronics! Have you ever wondered why they attacked Jeremy Fitzgerald? There was no reason for them to attack Jeremy. But they attack him because he was the guy from the, the assault incident, the infamous, the infamous assault incident. They know, they recognize his face. And that's why they kept trying to attack him, even in the daytime. Yes, I did say daytime because I believe Jim Fitzgerald was the victim of the bite of 87. And now you're probably thinking, well, is there any sign in the game, Grand Theft Auto, The Lost and Damned, 
that uh, Jim Fitzgerald um, had his frontal lobe removed. Well, look what he's wearing on his head! A bandana to cover up the scar! Oh my goodness! And underneath the bandana, there's no damage at all because this is 21 years later. And of course, the frontal lobe of the brain, that obviously just grew back because that's possible. The human body is designed to rebuild itself. And you know what else is designed to rebuild itself? The Mimic! Oh my goodness! The Mimic is Jeremy Fitzgerald from FNAF 2 and Jim Fitzgerald from Grand Theft Auto 4, episode from Liberty City, the Lost in Death. <laughs> you really think I think that they're, they're both these guys are the Mimic? You really think that I think Jim and Je slash Jeremy is the Mimic? No, April Fools guys. <laughs> that was the best joke I made in this video. Well, I didn't make any other jokes in this video, so uh, moving on. I think the frontal lobe just grew back, or maybe he got surgery, or maybe the animatronic that beat him, uh, which was probably Mangle or maybe PayPal's or Endo 2 or Balloon Boy or Shadow Bonnie or Shadow Freddy, Withered Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, the puppet, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Golem Freddy. I don't know who it was, but um, I don't think they actually beat his frontal lobe off. I think it was all an act. But why do I think it was an act? Because Jim actually sued Freddy Fazbear's Pizza for the damages that they did to him. He made this whole thing up where his frontal lobe actually got bitten off. Everyone believed him. And he got a bunch of money. He got a huge payday from it. And this is the sole reason Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, closed down. Jim forced them to close down, which is why they scrapped the toy animatronics and repurposed the Withers in probably the previous 1985 location because of the small budget they had. Now, as for Jeremy in Help Wanted, this is where it gets a bit complicated. Now, I do have to go into spoilers for GA4 and... GTA 4 episodes from Liberty City, The Lost and Damned. So if you want to um, play the game and get more insight into the FNAF lore by playing these games, um, I'm pretty sure you will play um, the 14 hours plus um, just to understand the lore of this um, theory, which is not 100% confirmed. Actually, it is 100% confirmed because I get to say it is. So the rest of this video is going to involve spoilers for that. So um, if you want to avoid them, then uh, go see this button in the top right, the, um, the eye. Press that button and see what video that takes you to. Now, at the end of The Lost and Damned and in GTA 4, Jim Fitzgerald? Johnny, I got some bad news. Jim, he ain't... Oh, no. Oh, man. Not Jim. He, unfortunately, um, does not make it. Um, He's killed. So there's this whole thing where um, Johnny Clevis, the protagonist, um, steals the money from a diamond deal uh, that was supposed to go to the um, crime family that he was working for. And then he gives it to Jim. Jim gets kidnapped, uh, gets tortured. Johnny sees this. Jim gets them both out of there. And then Jim says he's going to go talk to the brothers. I'm going to go get the fucking brothers. And then the protagonist of GA4, Nico Bellic, who saw Johnny um, take the money at the deal, he is assigned by the mob to uh, basically confront um, the bikers and uh, find them and get the money back. So he finds Jim and he's. Um, Shit! That's the cocksucker that Johnny ripped off for the diamond loot! Now you're not gonna Where believe me if I say this, but um... That guy right there? That fat white bald dude? Brothers. That is Jim Fitzgerald! And no, this isn't actually a part of the joke, even though I'm Trust not joking at all throughout this entire video. Pissed. But in the base game GA4, Jim Fitzgerald's moral and voice is completely different. And they even used this moral and put him next to um Jim in that cutscene in The Lost and Damned. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into it in this video, maybe in a future video. If it is, it will be in the top right card. But in this video, I will be going into it a little bit. Then a chase ensues and Jim is killed on the subway. Weasel News. A high-speed chase through the Liberty City subway system left two members of the Lost Biker Gang dead earlier. One of the dead bikers has been identified as Jim Fitzgerald of Alderney. So if Jim died in 2008, then how is he still alive in at least past 2023 and past 2038? And he would be in his 60s or 70s. Now there's two possible explanations, but in all of them, he went back to Freddy's due to his past connections, and he changed his name kind of back to Jeremy to escape this part of his life. Now this first path, Jim did not actually die in that, um, this fat white bald guy is actually not Jim. And that the police is stupid and somehow thought that he was Jim Fitzgerald. Whether that's because they have a similar name or because of the similar bike, I don't know. But the real Jim, Jeremy Fitzgerald, he took the money and went off, escaped. Took off with the two million and um, 
had a normal life until he was forced to go back to Freddy Fazbear's and then he cut his face off with a guillotine slice or something. Another option is that he used Fazgoo. Jim used Fazgoo to basically change his appearance. He changed from the Hispanic guy into the fat white bald guy. Then he died, was found on the subway, found by the police, they identified him, marked him as dead. The Fazgoo revived him and then he went off and he didn't age. And that's how he went on to become Jeremy from FNAF Help Wanted. And it is definitely possible that he had Fazgoo in his possession, whether it was some weird prototype or something, because um he could have gotten it from Freddy Fazbear's directly because um they didn't want him to pursue um any more further charges against them. Now, is he the body bully and is he uh, Cassie's father? Now he would have been 21 in 1983. So um I don't think he was hanging around with um young um what 12 year old Michael or something, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely possible, but it's very low. The chances are low, but not zero, so I'm going to say yes, it is him. Plus, the skin tone and the hair kind of does match with Jim Fitzgerald from The Lost and Damned. Now, if he's Cassie's father, that's a bit harder to say. Now, does Cassie resemble Jim at all? Um, I can't really tell because of the art style change. Uh, I wonder, um, um, uh... I guess a little bit, yes. Yes, they do look a lot alike, yes. Yes, that's perfect, yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect, they, they look a lot alike, yes, yes, yes. Um, all the differences, um, to Cassie looking more like her uh, mother than uh, her father, I guess, yeah. Now, in The Lost and Damned, it is mentioned by Jim that he does have a wife and a kid. Power Jackie and the kid. You haven't brought them to the house in a while. Hey, man, Jackie can handle herself, but it ain't exactly a family-friendly environment at the moment, is it? You know, when things calm down. Now, you might say, oh, this kid is Cassie. That is definitely confirmation. Oh, my goodness, I believe you. I believe you. This the entire theory is true. Now, you either thought that or probably saw the major problem, which is that um, security breach takes place 30 years after GTA 4's story. So his kid would be, at minimum, 30 years old. Now this kid could be the parent of Cassie, and then Jim could be the grandfather, but then that doesn't make sense with the whole body bully thing in Help 1 and 2 with him working there. It doesn't make sense. Maybe they both work at the pizza plex, and then um, and then we're not actually playing as Cassie's dad in Help 1 and 2, but we're actually playing as Cassie's granddad in Help 1 and 2. And it is possible that they hired someone that old to actually work for them, because if they hired a 64 year old um, Edwin Murray, they could probably hire a 75-year-old Jeremy Fitzgerald. Now, there's also a bunch of other possibilities, like um, maybe um, Jim, his wife, and the kid all took Fazgu, and that prevented them all from aging. There's a bunch of other stuff for that, but oh, look, look what's happened. We're out of time. We can't talk about it anymore. This is the end of the video, so I hope you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Now, look at this crap right here. Not, there's not a lot of you guys have subscribed, so make sure you hit that like, com that like button, comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure you watch on how Michael Afton slash Mike Schmidt is actually Mike from GDA Advance. That video will be releasing exactly one year from now. So make sure you guys like, comment, like, and subscribe, and I really hope you enjoy this video, and peace out! Oh yeah, and have a happy April Fools, yeah, I guess that's cool, yeah. Also, do you want to hear another funny thing about the dates on the paychecks? November 12th. I wonder what that is. November 12th, 1954, from Back to the Future. Oh my goodness, Back to the Future is set in the same universe as Grand Theft Auto and Five Nights at Freddy's. Is this where you want to be? I'm just going to get it.